Namaste. Hello, Group 1 aspirants. Welcome to the TSAT guidance classes on Group 1 services examination. As you know that science and technology is a very important area. Out of 13 areas, which is going to be considered as a syllabus for the group 1 services preliminary examinations. In this one of the subcontent is ICT. The basics in computers, robotics, nanotechnology and communication. So, we are going to discuss uh, all these uh, features about the computers, robotics and nanotechnology and communication. Before going to discuss all these things. Uh, in the live session already, we gave uh, some information to you. There are five mantras to get a success to crack the group one services. That is, the first one is you have to analyze the previous papers. That is an important area. After analyzing the previous papers, which area is more important? Which have area you have to give the importance like? So, for that reason, I am going to use the same strategy to start this uh, content that ICT basic in computers and robotics nanotechnology. So, now I am going to start uh, this with the previous papers. So, if you consider the last year paper and means last year means previous paper that is the number of questions are given from the science and technology area in main examination is 2, in the prelims examination is 10 means out of 150 nearly 10 questions are given from the science and technology. So, means uh, you can understand the importance of this one is uh, uh, around the percentage is, is uh, 1000 by 150 means uh, approximately it is uh, uh, nearly 7 percent, 7 percent questions comes from the uh, this area only clear. So, this is a very very important. So, definitely you have to concentrate on this area. Okay. So, which of the following states in India, the world's first nano urea liquid plant has been established for commercial production of nano urea? This is the question was given in the examination. Which of the following state in India, the world's first nano urea liquid plant has been established? So, here the options are given Maharashtra, Gujarat, Hyderabad, Madhya Pradesh. Of course, the answer is in Gujarat, the first nano urea liquid plant has been established. So, if you by heart it like there is no use because the same question may not come in the examination, but the question uh, comes in the relevant area of the concept. So, I am going to discuss about this nano urea and nano urea plant and its application. So, Nano urea liquid N U L simply we call it as nano urea liquid. The world first nano urea liquid plant has been inaugurated by our Prime Minister Narendra Modi at Kalol in Gujarat. India has become the first country to start commercial production of nano urea in the world. So, here the one more question comes here which country started the commercial production of nano urea means. India will comes as the answer. Okay, National Fertilizers Limited that is called NFL and Rastriya Chemicals and Fertilizers Limited that is RCF signed with the Memorandum of Agreement understanding with the IFCO IFFCO for transfer of technology for nano urea liquid that is a NUL fertilizer. So, here one more question may come here. So, actually IFCO is preparing this nano urea. So, if the uh, supporting of uh, two organizations, what are the organizations here? National Fertilizers Limited NFL and one more is Rastriya Chemicals and Fertilizers Limited that is RCF. So, here NUL means uh, nano urea liquid that is contains actually it has a uh, nano scale nitrogen particles which have more surface area and number of particles making it more impactable. The very important thing here, so why you are using nano urea here, nano scale nitrogen particles have the maximum area, area when you compare with the general uh, nitrogen particles. This is a one more important significance. 
India has become the first country globally to start commercial production of NUL. So, this is the things here. And one more information to that, nano urea liquid is a nanotechnology based fertilizer to increase the growth of crops by restoring nitrogen to plants as an alternative to conventional urea. Generally, we are using a conventional urea in the maximum quantity. So, to get an alternative for this uh, usage of this conventional urea, so this nano urea liquid can be used as an alternative. And it is a very important uh, thing is here, the extra urea will be stored stored in the plant. So, it will not be wasted, it will be stored in the plant, that is a very important thing here. It enhances the nutritional quality and productivity of the crop along with improving the underground water quality. So, this is a one more important significance of the usage of a nano urea liquid here. So, it enhances the nutritional quality the first one and product of the crop second one and the third one is it improving the underground water quality also. So, these are the three significances uh, or advantages of the nano urea liquid here. The conventional urea a chemical fertilizer is used to artificially fulfill the nitrogen need of the plant while generally if you want to give, uh, give uh, nitrogen to the plant the conventional method is is a conventional urea which are using it correct but but nano urea liquid is developed to replace the farmer and cut down its requirement by 50% so if you use nearly 1 oh, one, 1 kilogram of uh, urea for a plant for example so for uh, if you use a nano urea so just 500 grams is enough to provide the same quantity of nitrogen to the plant. That is a very, very important thing of that. When you spray it on leaves of this nano urea liquid, nano urea easily enters through the stomata and other openings and is assimilated by the plant cells. It is easily entered into stomata of the plant. That is a very, very important thing. It, when you spray it on leaves, so it is easily distributed through the phloem from the source to sink inside the plant as per its need. Unutilized nitrogen is stored in the plant uh, vacuole and is slowly released for proper growth and development of the plant. This is one more important thing here. Unutilized nitrogen will be stored in the plant. Okay. So, after learning of all these things, we will see some more questions which were asked already in the examination. So, the Indian Farmers Fertilizers Cooperative Limited that is IFCO full form IFFCO, the Indian Farmers Fertilizers Cooperative Limited, this is the full form of IFCO. A cooperative, it is a cooperative society has developed and patented the nano urea liquid technology. So, which uh, organization has the patent for development and producing the nano urea is IFCO, this is a one more important bit for you. The plant is in Kalol is set up by IFCO with an investment of nearly 175 crores and is capable of producing 1 by 5 lakhs bottles of 500 ml. I mean each one is 500 ml capacity of nano urea per day. So, in per day it is produces nearly 1 by 5 means 20,000 bottles each bottle contains 500 ml uh, nano urea liquid. So, this is the production capacity of the IFCO company. Okay. So, 8 more such plants are going to be announced to set up across the India, this is the development and IFCO will transfer the technology of liquid nano urea to public sector fertilizer companies to increase the production rapidly. The technology will be transferred to the National Fertilizers Limited NFL and Rastriya Chemicals and Fertilizers Limited RCF to establish new nano area production plants and ramp up the supply of nano urea to farmers of the country. This is a one more important information. So, uh, NC, NF, NFL and RCF, these two companies also is going to be produce the 
nano urea liquid by the support of the technology transformation of from the IFCO. This is the one more development. And here the some significance is given already you are uh, seeing on the screen that is uh, the bottle is contained the nano urea liquid. Uh, it is a 500 ml a bottle it is. It reduces the requirement of conventional urea of 50 percent or more that is one more significance. Improves the soil, air and water quality and cheaper than the conventional urea. These are the three significances of uh, nano urea liquid which was developed by and producing by IFCO. Okay. Now, we will see a second question. The first question is which uh, state is producing the nano urea liquid or which state has the nano urea liquid plant that is uh, already you know Gujarat. Now, second question is which of the following statement is not correct regarding the nano urea liquid. So, here the four options are given it will increase the growth of crops by restoring nitrogen to plants as an alternative to conventional urea correct because already we learned it is one as a as a, one of the significance it increases the growth of crops by restoring nitrogen to the plants correct this is the first option a is correct it will improve the underground water quality it improve the plant quality air quality water quality so it is correct, it will improve the underground water quality. Option B is also correct, it will cut down chemical fertilizers requirement by 50 percent. Already you learned is uh, liquid nano urea reduces the usage of conventional urea by 50 percent, 50 percent or more than 50 percent. So, the statement C is also correct, the unutilized nitrogen is going to be waste. So, actually the unutilized nitrogen will be stored in the plant and it will produce later correct. So, but the statement fourth statement option D is given the unutilized nitrogen is going to waste. So, it is a wrong statement. So, which of the following statement is not correct means option D is not correct. So, you can choose that D is a correct option clear like C. So, when if you want if just we buy hard the concept then it is a very difficult, but if you understand the total concept in an elaborated way definitely you can answer any kind of question. Now, we will see one more question based on this uh, nano urea liquid which was already asked in the examination. Which of the following organization developed and patent the nano urea liquid technology? Just now I said, so here IFCO is, is the organization who developed and having a patent that is if course. So, here the four options are given small agri business consortium, farmer produ producer organization, the Indian farmers fertilizers cooperative limited that is IFCO all of the above. So, generally so uh, option C is correct, but some of the aspirants uh, they will say once they if they does not know any information about this maybe they expected. So, all of the above is the correct and do not choose all of the above. So, if you does not know, so check it once again and read it because elimination method is, is a one more thing here. So, we can by using that elimination method also you can get the answer sometimes there is a 50 percent possibility to eliminate the things. But anyway after learning this you can easily identify the Indian farmers fertilizers cooperative limited if co is the organization which are going to develop and having patent for the production of nano urea liquid technology clear ok. So, and uh, so that those are the three questions based on nano technology, nano technology based nano urea liquid. Now, coming to the next one is the fourth question that is consider the following statements about 5G technology, which of the following statement is not correct. So, the question is based on 5G technology here. So, here the uh, options are the 5G network will operate in the millimeter wave spectrum in between 300 to 3000 gigahertz. It does not work, it does work in low and medium band spectrum. It requires fundamental change in core architecture of communication system. The first country to adopt 5G on a large scale was South Korea. So, if you have an idea then you can say which statement is correct. So, but without having any information on 5G technology 
choosing correct option is little bit of difficult for you. Now, we are going to learn about 5G technology. So, okay, we will see what is what is 5G technology here. So, 5G technology means a fifth generation technology. The 5G network will operate in the millimeter wave spectrum 300 to sorry 30 to 300 gigahertz is incorrect which have the advantage of sending large amount of data of very high speed because the frequency is so high. It experiences little interference from surrounding signals. So, actually the option is given. So, it is uh, it operates between 30 to 300 gigahertz only, but the actual advantage of this uh, 5G technology is it speed is very high at the same time uh, frequency is also frequency is also high because as you know that v is equal to c nu that is the formula v is the velocity c is a uh, simply you can say the velocity of light and nu is the frequency correct so when you comes as nu increases so here v also increases so, means it has high speed and high frequency also but the statement a is given as just it's a millimeter of wave spectrum 330 to 300 gigahertz so it's wrong now phase mainly work on uh, three brands namely that is low brand low band mid band and high frequency band spectrum all of these have their own uses as well as limitations hence statement b is correct enabling critical instruct instructors 5g will require a fundamental change to the core architecture of the communication system so we will see that what is it does work in low and medium band spectrum correct so what is the actual property here so 5g mainly work in three bands that is low mid and high frequency spectrum bands so option b is correct Okay. Now, coming to the next one. So, here uh, what is the other information option C is given? What is the option C is here given? It requires fundamental change in core architecture of communication system. So, here actually uh, it works, 5G works on the fundamental change, correct? Fundamental change in architecture. So, statement C also correct. The first country to adopt 5G on a large scale was South Korea. It is also correct. So, here option D also correct. So, in the examination all the options are correct so, the is the correct answer for it. Clear? Okay. So, like so if you know each and every one then now come to the what is 5G here. So, we have 3G third generation, fourth generation actually third generation, fourth generation is used for only our mobile networks. But when you are going to use a 5G, we can use not only for our mobile network, you can use for homes, you can move for radars, you can use for cars, in cars also you can use the 5G technology. So, that is an advantage. 5G technology is a breakthrough. The next generation of telecom networks that is fifth generation or 5G has started hitting the market in the end of 2018 will continue to expand worldwide. So, in the end of the late December, in December, November uh, 2018, it was uh, entered into the market. Beyond the speed improvement, actually it has a good speed here. I will give the statistics for the speed of the 5G also. The technology is expected to unleash a massive 5G uh, IoT here. IoT is also very, very important. IoT means uh, internet of things ecosystem where networks can serve communication needs for billions of connected devices with the right trade offs between speed, latency and cost. So, these are the advantages of the 5G. So, it, it works with the maximum speed of billions of connected devices. I will give the statistics here. What are the advantages? What are the specifications required for the 5G technology here? So, very, very important it is 10 to 100 times of the 4G uh, technology. It is a 10 to 100 times. So, actually up to 
10 gigabytes uh, data generally when we are taking a 10 gigabytes uh, data speed per second 10 gigabytes per second is the speed of 5G okay and nearly 99.99 percent availability are there and maximum 360 degrees coverage is there and a 99 percent reduction in the network energy uses and uh, it is up to 10 years battery life warranty for the power for any IoT device. So, it increases the lifespan of the battery also and the bandwidth per unit area is a thousand times to the 4G network and the speed is up to 100 times the number of uh, connected devices per unit. So, you can if you connected uh, any uh, devices, so the speed will be 100 times here. So, like these are 8 significant uh, uh, advantages of that. Now, we will see comparison of the all this. The previously, we have a 3.5G which are ordinary uh, cell phones, their uh, speed is 42.2 megabytes per second and now we are using the 4G of course, we are calling as a LTE also. Now, we are seeing in our mobile phones that is 4G or LTE that is it is a speed is 100 megabytes per second and now a little bit of that is a 4G LTE uh, categorized it is 150 megabytes per second, but uh, when you take it as a advanced 4G it is 1000 megabytes per second, but when you are going to opt 5G it is 10,000 megabytes per second means nearly 10 times to the 4G or LTE advanced. The speed of the internet will be 10,000 megabytes per second that is an advantage of the 5G technology. So, this is very important they may ask it what are the different significance when you compare with the 4G and 3.5G you have to know all these things here. Okay. Now, we are going to take one more uh, uh, scientific development in the uh, system that is a uh, LiFi like Wi-Fi that is a successful thing for uh, uh, Wi-Fi is LiFi. The concept the following statement about LiFi which of the statement given above are correct. So, you see so if you know about the 5G technology you can answer those questions. Now, the questions which was asked on LiFi concept. Okay, so, here uh, the options are it can transmit data more than 200 times the speed of Wi-Fi. LiFi range is very restricted. LiFi system consumes more power. LiFi is less secure than the Wi-Fi. These are the four statements given as a four options A, B, C, D, E, F. So, which statement is correct? Now, so first we have to learn about the LiFi, then you can choose which option is correct, correct? Okay. Now, we will see. LiFi means a light fidelity, means a light fidelity, clear? So, is a wireless technology that makes use of visible light in place of radio waves to transmit the data at uh, terabits per second speed more than 100 times the speed of Wi-Fi. This is a very, very important here. Actually, the Wi-Fi is working on the transmit, it transmits the data through radio waves. That is Wi-Fi works, but LiFi works on visible light through light here. And the statement one is correct due to short range of LiFi is more secure than the Wi-Fi. Now, we will see it can transmit data more than 200 times the speed of Wi-Fi that is a, a statement correct. Okay. And second statement, statement 4 is also correct, LiFi system consumes less power, it is more secure than the Wi-Fi. Now, we will see that what is the given information on our seat, LiFi system here is uh, consumes more power, LiFi is less secure than Wi-Fi. LiFi range is very restricted. So, here uh, actually uh, the statement 4 is incorrect already is said because uh, it consumes less power, but it is given 
it is a it comes more power and it is more secure than the Wi-Fi. Actually, it is not more secure uh, is given, but it is more secure than Wi-Fi and the statement 3 is also incorrect because as visual light cannot pass through uh, epic objects and needs line of slide for communication. Its range will remain very restricted to short width. So, the statement 2 is correct in order to enjoy full connectivity more capable LED bulbs will need to be placed various places this just if you have the LED bulbs that is more than enough to transmit the our data. So, just now observe it. So, these two guys have the LED, uh, uh, LED, uh, LED bulbs. So, the data is transmitted through the visible light the data is transmitted that is a significance of the LIFI. LIFI means light fidelity is a bi-directional wireless system that transmits data via LED or infrared light. Actually, it was first unveiled by in 2011 and unlike Wi-Fi which is used to radio frequency. Wi-Fi needs radio frequency, but for LIFI no need of any radio frequency just visible light is enough to transmit the data. The LIFI technology only needs a light source with a chip to transmit the internet signal through light waves. This is the advantage of and LIFI is a game change in the innovation that can transmit enormous amounts of data through LEDs light emitting diodes. So, the, what is meant by LED light emitting diodes that is LEDs. An application of visual light communication LIFI was announced as the faster more secure and energy efficient successor of today's Wi-Fi which can transmit the data at speeds that are 100 multitudes faster. So, it is a 100 times faster than the Wi-Fi actually LIFI is a successor of Wi-Fi and Wi-Fi is working on radio waves, but uh, LIFI is required only visible light. Okay. So, the birth of LIFI VLC concerns means uh, uh, all communication technologies that are visible light LIFI is an application of VLC and make use of its very basic principle of using light as a medium, but uh, differs with the use of a two way network protocol to provide network connectivity at incredible speed. Most of the research and studies on into LIFI was headed by Professor Harlard Haas and his team of researchers. So, this is a very very important the uh, LIFI is a brainchild of Professor Harlard Haas. So, this is also who developed who invented uh, LIFI also the question me uh, come uh, in the examination that is uh, Professor Harlard Haas and his team researchers developed this one. So, here the question is which of the following country is the first largest consumer of the urea in the world? The question was asked in the same manner. Which of the following country is the first largest consumer of the urea in the world? Here options are given India, China, Russia, United States of America, okay, which is the correct answer. So, here I will give the statistics then you can identify the answer. So, China is the world largest consumer of fertilizers. So, which option is correct? So, option B is correct according to the question, but you have to learn some other information that is. In 2019, the Asian country consumed more than 45 million metric tons worth of nutrients. It was followed by India and the United States with 29.4 and 20.4 billion tons of respectively. So, most consumed urea consumed country is China second place is India and third place is United States. And the same time the India is the world's second largest consumer of urea, but it is a third largest producer of urea in the world. So, this statistics is very important. In consumption we India stands second position, in production it stands third position. India annually consumes around 33 million tons of urea, which is almost 70 percent of domestically produced and a remaining 30 percent will be imported. Okay. 
So, the, the financial year in 2020, the overall consumption of fertilizers stood at about 61 million tons of which urea consumption increased exponentially. Most farmers prefer urea because other ureas, non ureas means if you vary is like uh, D ammonium phosphate that is called DAP, uh, murate of potash MOP are expensive, actually those are expensive. Instead of taking DAP or MOP, most of the farmers are using urea only. The higher cost also leads to excessive use of urea and adverse impacts of in crops. Thus, the government took several initiatives including neem coated urea, organic farming etcetera to reduce the use of urea among the farmers. So, this is a, a very, very important. Finally, the consider the following statement about International Telecommunication Union, which of the statement is given by our the statement is correct. So, here ITU is given, it is a specialized agency under United Nations, it allocates satellite orbits, it allocates global radio spectrum, none. So, here ITU, what is ITU? That is a very important international telecommunication union is a specialized agency under United Nations for information communication uh, technologies that is ICT. Hence, statement 1 is correct. It is founded in 1865 to facilitate international connectivity in communication networks. ITU allocated global radio spectrum and satellite orbits develops the technical standards that ensure our networks and technologies seamlessly in internet connect and uh, strives to improve access to ICTs to un undesired communities uh, uh, worldwide. So, option 2 and statement 2 and statement 3 are correct. So, like so in the first uh, part of uh, this uh, ICT nanotechnology and basic computers. So, we start this session by taking the previous examination questions and we discuss a, a concern concept also. So, now we will start one by one each uh, session with an elaborated way to give the clear and comprehensive information about ICT, basic computers, nanotechnology and robotics.